Good morning, students. You have already studied how to start Microsoft Word in Chapter Six, Fun with Text Processing. Today, we are going to start and move ahead with a few more features and explore it. In word processor, we have different types of fonts. This is similar to our handwriting. As people have different handwritings in the same way word processor have different types of fonts looking at handwriting we can recognize who has written it so do fonts have different name and different font size by default the font name is calibri and font size is 11 you can change the font name and font size as per the convenience from the formatting toolbar. Selecting a different font is called changing the font type. Some of the commonly used font types are Calibre, Arial Narrow, Times New Roman and many more. To change the font name, select the font name you want from the formatting toolbar and font size just beside it. Always remember to choose a font that is clear and easy to read. Let us try the different fonts and write few lines so that we can have clear concept about it. Once on a time One finger, cannot do much all by itself. The finger together form a strong and powerful team. Unity is strength. See how I have typed these sentences. The first sentence have the same font throughout. But the second and the third sentence have mixed font. It is not easy to read if you mix different types of fonts in the same sentence. The title should be in a bigger font size. There is a number next to the font size. Let us try to increase this number to the font type. Your textbook and lesson headings are in bigger font size. It is easy to identify the book or the lesson when we use big font size. Larger fonts are used to catch the attention of the reader and for the text which is important. The last sentence of the story is unity in strength. The text is slanting. This is called style of the font. The darker text are called bold. The slant text are called italics. And you can even underline the text. To, to make the text look bold, you have to click on the bold in the formatting toolbar. To make it italics, click on the I in the formatting toolbar. And to underline the line, you can click on U in the formatting toolbar. Remember, not to use too much of either of them in your story, essay, or any document that you're preparing. Word processor also provide the option to change the color of different text that is there in the formatting 
font color you can select the text and you can apply the color as per your choice in the same way i'm doing it over here the changing of font type font style font size and font color is called formatting formatting is one of the way to make the text easy to read and attractive now the question comes is it possible to format the text after we have written it the answer is yes we just have to select the text and whatever the font type we want or the font size we need we can apply it so today you have learned how to change the font type font size and font style i hope you have understood the concept of formatting now you can write your own stories by using the various option that is available in the formatting toolbar like font type font style italics color etc so use this font style and create your own story writing goodbye everyone